Now let's go ahead and do the measure the pH of light and dark roasts. I've got a table here with what I think will be all my values that I need from the list, and I made it for light and dark. I'm going to do my grams of coffee, my grams of water. Um, I've got, actually, I've got a Brazilian light, and I've got a Brazilian dark. So I'm going to be doing both of them at the same time today since I got two of the Clever Drippers today. Um, and uh, let's see how this works. So I'm going to use these as well. And actually, uh, I'm going to measure out my coffee in these. So I'll measure out my Brazilian light just to see how much we're going to start with. And I'm going to start with 25 grams. At least the product. So. Five point two, twenty four point nine, twenty five point zero. So I have about twenty five grams there of my light roast. Now let's do that's my other light roast there. All right, let's take it from this top first. This is it, yeah. And I'll measure out twenty five here. Twenty five point six, twenty four point eight, nine. All right, and I'm not writing these down yet because this is not actually how much I'm using. This is just how much I'm laying out right now. Where's my line right there? Uh, I've got my filters and my clever drippers. So one clever dripper there. One clever dripper here for my light and dark roasts. And uh, so for my light, I've got a grinder for light roasts so that I don't have to clean it out in between to get contamination out. And I've got my grinder for my dark roasts. I'm actually going to just sort of get most of it out. I did have the Ethiopian dark, uh, dark roast in there, so let's put that in. And I guess the first time I'm going to do is my grind time. And I'm going to shoot for 10 seconds for each of them. And let's see. I have one of these apps on my phone, so I'll count out seconds using that. I'm gonna plug it in. Plug it in. in Nineteen. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Got ten seconds for my light roast. And I'll try and do the same thing for my dark roast because we're going to try and keep everything comparable here. Right? Yes. There's 10 seconds on the dark. So, so far, what do we have? We have uh, grind time is 10 seconds for each of them. Um, now let's go ahead and uh, get the ramp of coffee for the light roast. So I've got it teared to zero. Smells good. There's a supposed to be roast look or the grind looks like and the roast, I guess. Hmm. 
I'm getting 25.5 grams of coffee for the light roads. I'm just going to heat up my water a little bit again so it's ready. And now let's get the dark roast. And this one's 24.8 grams. So pretty close. Um, I guess what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to take a little bit out of the light roast to get it down to 24.8. And I teared it, so I'm gonna tear it. And I've got, let's see if this is a good way to put it. Point five to twenty five point seven point eight. There we go, point seven grams and benefit of being outside. All right, so now I've teared it. I'm actually gonna write this back down to 24.8 grams. That's for the light and the dark now because I uh, spilled some of it out. And now I'm going to put approximately 300 grams of water in there. And we're gonna assume it's boiling um, since it's just boiled. And so I'm just gonna pour it in all at once. Under 90, 302.9, and I'm going to set that aside. Now I'm going to do the other one, and I'm going to write down that 302.9 grams for the light. Two fifty, two seventy, two ninety nine, three hundred point zero, and I might as well go to try and go to three hundred two point nine, three hundred one point one, three hundred two point six. So you don't get much more careful than that. And now I'm going to start my timer. And I know that this one's about 30 seconds ahead. Uh, and I'm going to put the tops on. Now I forgot what I said, but good thing I'm videotaping this, so I'll go back and write it down when I watch the tape. And now we just wait. We wait for the coffee to be made. And we're going to be making the coffee in these two. So uh, I'm going to wipe these out real quick. Not that quickly. Let me see what oh contact time yes so we'll write that down temperature of the water we said we're going to write down uh, boiling because it had just boiled and turned off so we'll say two twelve two twelve degrees Celsius for those which is not perfect 
But what's nice is that at least when um, whatever they are is the same. And so what I should write is approximately 212 there. And I made a little asterisk to say that uh, it was within a minute uh, or so, approximately a minute of the kettle boiling. That little asterisk. And we'll use a couple minutes contact time. And we're gonna measure our amount of brew too. So I'm gonna measure I'm gonna try to show that. There we go. Mass of our ACS cup. I'm going to use my light is 181.5 grams. Oh, I still got some. I have two small pieces of chaff in there. Put those out. One small piece of chaff. Good. Now it's like the mass of. Oh, it's on the outside? It's just sticky. This is my Sweet Maria's glass mug, 150.6. In case anything gets messed up as we do this. So our ACS mug, it's been three minutes and 10 seconds. So I'm gonna pour that through. Yeah, so that's going to take more than 30 seconds. So we will get a, well, so now what I have to do is I'm just going to start pouring this one in about 30 seconds after the previous one. That's why it's good that I weighed the cup. So now I can just do this. That's my dark roast. And now they should finish about equidistantly apart. Yeah. And we'll show you what these brews look like too. And then we'll test their pH. Contact time. So contact time. Well, let's say this time before I started draining them was three minutes, 10 seconds. Or 190 seconds. And that's for both of them, give or take. As close as possible anyway. It looks like they're taking about more than a minute to drain. I'm going to stop this one at 440, which means this one should stop at 510. And how oh good that is, teared. So cut with brew. I get 398.4, although there's more, but, and then let's stop this one now. This is my dark roast, 376.6. So cut with brew. We'll be able to tell how much brew we got, um, although both of them have some more to do, but it seemed like a good time to stop it. And now we sample. And to sample, we're going to do the light roast into this. Light roast. Oh, let me try and get that with light roast. So light roast, of course, dark roast. It's even more clear the color because the sun's coming from your side. Let me take a sample. Of the light roast. Oh, 
data, and then a sample of the dark host. And now we're going to wait uh, five minutes for them to cool down before we test their pH. Oh, come on. <laughs> Sorry about this. Okay. I actually took 10 minutes because after about five minutes, I realized I didn't have enough in here to do to the pH. So it's been about 10 minutes. I've got my pH probe here. And... I've got my dark roast, which I'm going to try first. Mm -hmm. I'm going to rinse it in DI water, the pH probe. Shake it off. Ooh. <laughs> and then put it in the actual sample that I've got of the dark roast. Turn it on, too. Stir it for five to 10 seconds. And then I'm not sure if you can see that. Yeah. 5.82. That's the dark roast. Rinse it in reverse osmosis tap water, which is what I got. Tap water is fine, of course. And then let's do the Light roast. Yeah, it comes to pretty constant. I don't know if you can see that one. 5.02. So light roast is definitely lower in pH. It's definitely more acidic. And now let's do some tastings. For tastings, I'm going to taste the light roast because it's going to taste less dark. Very good. Now compare it to this one. That's some angers. And so the dark roast. And everybody's got their own tastes. Uh, so hopefully you have a preference for one over the other. Uh, I prefer the light roast.